Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up using Stata through IU Anywhere. First thing you need to do is get Citrix Receiver set up. The document that goes along with this video has a link to detailed instructions from the IU website on how to get this going. Once you've logged into Citrix, then we're ready to get Stata launched. In the center of the screen, you'll see the programs that you've set up as your favorites. If this is the first time that you are starting Citrix, you will have nothing there. So what we'll need to do is go up to this search bar, type in Stata, and then click here to add it to your quick menu. Click on the Stata SE14 button and it will launch up. We're here in the main Stata interface. First thing we want to do is set up our working directory. This is very important to do every time you start up Stata. What this basically does is tell Stata where the files that we're going to use are located. There are two ways to do this. The first one is to go to File, then Change Working Directory. And we'll now bring up a browser to look for the folders. If we open up this PC, we'll see the expected folders like Desktop, uh, but notice that Desktop has nothing in it. So this is actually not the desktop that we are used to on our own computer. So to find those folders, we need to dig into our local disk. So mine is called C, and then go into users, and then your own username. Now you will see the folders that you normally would expect. So if I go into my desktop, there you'll find the folders that you want. So to repeat that, these top level desktop and documents are not the ones uh, that will be your regular folders. You want to use the ones that are inside the user folder. Now, of course, you can set your directory anywhere you want. So for example, I'm going to use my mapped box and then a Stata tutorial folder. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that Stata has run a command. And whenever we run a command, it is saved in the review window on the left and also shows up in the main output window. Whenever we use a command, by going through menus, it's still going to show the command that you could have used to simply type out. So, for example, if I were to restart Stata and then just type CDI slash Stata tutorials, then that would do the exact same thing and change our working directory into the folder that I want to use. Those of you who are familiar with Unix will recognize CD as change directory, and Stata uses some of the other basic Unix commands as well, such as PWD, print working directory, that will show us exactly what our current directory folder path is. We can also use LS, and that will give us a list of everything that is currently inside of our working directory. As you can see, there is a Stata dataset here called Indiana 100. Opening a Stata dataset is very simple. All we need to do is go up here to our Open button, and then choose Indiana 100. This dataset is now loaded into memory. We can see that we have the variables in this data set in our variable window. Now if we go up to the toolbar and click on the data browser, we can take a quick 
look at the data that we have available from this data set. Note the command that Stata used when I opened the data set. Now it gave the entire file path, but since Indiana 100 is actually inside of our current directory, we can use a command that is a little bit simpler. So first I'm going to clear, which will empty out the data that we have in memory. As you can see, there's nothing here anymore. And then use Indiana 100, and that will do the same thing. The last thing I wanna talk about is the help command. So if you are having trouble figuring out how to use a particular command in Stata, then we can just type in help and then the command that we want to know more about. So for example, we could go help regress, hit enter, and then we will see a window that tells us everything that we could possibly need to know about that command. And that is going to include some nice examples as well. That's all I have to say for right now about getting started using Stata. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know.